What's good everyone, it's ZigZag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Today I'm joined by another pro called Eamon. He and I are gonna be doing a 1 million HP duel against each other on AI generated world, which is definitely one of the hardest and most baity maps in the game. Not only that, but to make the game go faster, we're gonna be playing with no car and no compass. Now, Eamon and I are actually teaming up tonight in the Rainbow Tournament, so don't forget to support us by checking that out. That will be at 11 a.m. PST, a few hours after this video comes out. Also then at midnight Eastern Standard Time, I'll be doing a charity event, which will be on my Twitch, so go ahead and follow my Twitch, linked in the description, and check that out. And don't forget to give the video a like to help me out in the algorithm. All right, let's get it. First round of the game here. You got no, no car, no compass script on here. Let's see what we got. We're actually driving left-hand side of the road here, so I think this one should just be Malta. If you're left-hand drive with kind of a fairly dry climate, then Malta is definitely one of the good options. And uh, I'm not really sure which part it's going to be. Because you don't have the compass, it's kind of hard to tell, so I'm just going to hedge between the two islands here. But yeah, it should be like, it kind of feels like we're, yeah. I wonder which island that is. Obviously, without the compass, it's really hard to tell. But okay, wow, he gets the road. Incredible stuff there. Without the compass, that's an impressive feat. And so it's uh, 24 points to start us off with. About the most insignificant uh, start off possible there. The next one's more interesting, though. Should be somewhere in Australia. Obviously, I should be an advantage here in Oz. Uh, I'm actually not sure about the state here. Um, and even sending a bit of a disappointed emoji there. Um, I think this can be Tasmania, actually. It would be the new coverage down there. Uh, this tree definitely feels kind of Tasmania, because it's kind of got like a shaggier bark. Uh, I don't know, it could be also New South Wales, so I'm just going to have to go out on a limb here. I'm going to say it is Tasmania, like somewhere near Hobart. Um, this could be quite wrong. And I reckon, I reckon if I had to predict where he'll go, he'll probably go like southern New South Wales. And that's kind of the other option here. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, because I can't see the car as well, that also makes things a little bit more difficult to decide. And it was actually just near Sydney indeed. So kind of a bit of an L there. But again, this is such early days that the, the points are not really too significant. Later on in the game, that's going to be a devastating round. But, you know, we haven't even hit the five times multiplier yet um, because, uh, well, yeah. Okay, next one here is looking like somewhere in Russia, which is good. We can gain some points back here if I play well. Uh, it feels fairly generic, though. I don't really see anything that's actually too useful here. Um, white bricks are certainly interesting. Might be feeling further west for that reason. I don't really know. Um, I think I might just go Kazan here as a hedge. Uh, urban Russia uh, feels, feels, feels decently right. Okay, ends up being Arkhangelsk there, interestingly, and his hedge is once again better. So Eamon definitely, uh, given me a, a good run for my money off the bat here. Next one's definitely just Poland. This is like the maximum Polish architecture, I would say. Uh, although could I be wrong? Maybe it could still be like Lithuania or something. Um, I don't see like 100% evidence for one or the other. Uh, Poles are fairly obscured here. Could even be Latvia based on what I'm looking at. Uh, I might go Poland-Lithuania border here, I think. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Let's see where this actually is. Ends up being in Lithuania indeed. Uh, and so, yeah, right on the Belarusian border there. Again, closer than me. So we only have to start turning things around here. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, the points are so low that it should be okay. Okay, here's a country I've been practicing, Brazil. We have this epically, uh, epically uh, like rocky mountain here that's sticking out of nothing. That should be a Espirito Santo or... Uh, Minas, or like this kind of tri-point between these three states over here. I would say it's just the Spirit of Santo, but I guess it could still be one of the other two. And uh, yeah, nothing else to really say about this round. It's a pretty, pretty straightforward stuff. Ends up being just south of Vitoria there, so we are finally closer, and we do 400 points damage, not too much. But now the multiplier start, this should be a five times, or yeah, six times damage, so it's increased by five times. Should be interesting. Uh, this is looking like a... Hmm, a uh, Finnish road sign that says T-I-E at the end. Uh, and as for Finland, I don't really know where it's going to be, but I kind of feel like a more southern vibe here, so I'm just going to go in the south of the country. Hope for the best here. I think it should be all right. Um, what else to say? This, like, red house is very typically Nordic, obviously, but uh, particularly probably Sweden, using the most red houses, this is this is uh, just going to be somewhere actually towards Sweden. I wonder if there are more red houses in Western Finland rather than Eastern. Probably true. Probably true, but I don't really know exactly how it works. Next one's 11 times damage. And we are going to be somewhere in Denmark based on these signs. It says Rabi, which I've probably heard of, but I don't remember where exactly it is. Uh, landscape wise, it's super flat. And the hedges, so I'm gonna go like near Copenhagen here. Um, but yeah, I guess this can just be anywhere. It is near Copenhagen because of that flatness, so that's a good little uh, guess there. And it's actually going to be 3,900 points damage, so all of a sudden we're in the lead after <laughs> a rather non ideal start, but that's okay. Uh, next one here, we are looking at a 16 times damage round in where? I would say this was like 
Greece, right? I thought Greece here. Yeah. Do we actually have any language? That looks like Greek language, yeah. Um, as for where, that is not so easy. I think I kind of just hedge here. I think I just hedge in the water over here, right? Yeah, I'm not really sure. I guess it could be like West Coast as well, but I don't really have a good vibe here. It's just quite flat. So maybe one of the islands quite possible. Maybe Thessaloniki area where it's flat is quite possible. A anything seems right. And it was just West Coast there. Uh, maybe I should have gone for that, but again, it's good damage. We're definitely in the lead now after, after our poor start. So it's 21 times damage now. The damage is starting to get to the point where if I get something that he can't get, that, that, that that's pretty good. And this map is very difficult, though the rounds so far haven't been too bad. This is a Spanish style sign. Uh, I got hills and grass in a way that makes me think, ooh, could this be an elsewhere still? That looks Spanish as well, yes. It should be somewhere, somewhere in Spain. Spain, Portugal, and France all use this like flat signpost here that's not round, so that that's good to know. I'm gonna say we're like kind of just like southwest of Madrid here, but can't really be anywhere in the country, I think. Um, and it was in northern Spain, interestingly. So he goes southern there, uh, ends up being all the way near Bilbao. I never would have expected that. And again, we're, we're going quite nicely here. 26 times damage now. Really, the game is not properly started until someone makes a big mistake. And this one looks like it's going to be somewhere in Norway. A lot of pines, a lot of rocks, and these longer dashes on the side of the road all equal up to Norway. I'm thinking like, yeah, I'm thinking like central southern here. Anything like near Oslo makes a lot of sense here. Can be all the way up to Trondheim, I think. And it ends up being just right southern there. So that's pretty good. We were just practicing earlier and uh, uh, Eamon kept on saying it was southern Norway. And this time it actually was. So I feel bad for him because he was probably just compensating for his uh, for his mistakes earlier. Which is kind of funny. But okay, next one here. Uh, this one should be somewhere in Jordan, I imagine. White number plates, driving right. Uh, and this kind of landscape. Feels like Amman or Jerash, somewhere in the north of the country, I would say. But I'm not too sure. I'm not the best when it comes to uh, Jordan. So I think I just click Amman here. Maybe southern suburbs of Amman would be a good hedge. And can be all the way down to here. But look how long Amman is. Amman is like a seriously long country. Like uh, he's clicked near the middle and I'm already getting 800 points off that. So it's not too bad. Okay, so we uh, have been consistently closer in the last rounds and we're up to 36 times damage now. This should be like somewhere. Ooh, this is now, this is an, this is an interesting round. Uh, we uh, like a port of some kind. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, without, okay, that kind of feels, like, it kind of feels like a Russian scene to me. Uh, we got like, ooh, we got like some kind of striped thing on the hill there. Um, I thought of like epically far East Russia, like Vladivostok area, or like something Ukraine or something like that, you know, even. I think it, um, I don't really know, like some of these kind of like oak trees or something like that. I think I want to go East Russia here. The red soil, I like the kind of brownish soil, I don't really know what to do about. Um, maybe like Sakhalin Island is possible here or something near there. I might just like kind of hedge it, like just like kind of this direction here, but like that. I don't know. This is a highly risky guess because if it ends up being like, as I said, like, I don't know where it would be though. To have a boat like that, this, this boat feels like it's like traveling far distances and it looks like it is Russian maybe. V B A P C are all letters in Russian, so yeah, I think that fits. I'm a bit worried, you guys. I'm a bit worried. I can't lie. Um, and it is just fight of Ostrak. Okay, good guess from him. That's going to be big damage there, of course. 36 times damage is going to be 50,000 points. So that's the first round. That's not nothing. That's that's definitely going to hurt for later on in the duel. But okay, next one here is 41 times damage. And we are looking at somewhere in Lithuania here with these bollards. It's super flat, so I want to click the middle here. Uh, yeah, poles all fit, so we're absolutely good here. I'm gonna click the name Lithuania because of the flatness, and will we be correct about that? I think so. Okay, we both go with the same guess. It's a bit further north towards Latvia, but yeah. I feel like the hilly areas are like kind of either side in uh, Lithuania, particularly this side, particularly the east. Uh, next one here is familiar looking. Where is this gonna be though? Um, plates have the blue strip, okay. Uh, no kind of compass, I'm actually kind of doubting myself. Could this be Pharaohs still? I think this can be Pharaohs, to be honest. Mm, I like Pharaohs over Iceland here, especially because we don't see any bollards. Down the road, we don't see any. Yeah, I think I go Pharaohs here. Mm. Architecture is certainly interesting in a, in, in a way that makes me not quite sure where we are, but I, I definitely hit Pharaohs here, let's see. And it was Pharaoh Islands, let's go. He goes to Iceland. Yeah, not so easy to recognize Pharaohs without the Google car, but that's going to be 85,000 points damage there, so a good little result. The next one here is 51 times damage, and it looks fairly rural, so this could be interesting. These should be like Mexican bollards here, these white ones on the ground. 
Um, it is like fairly like sandy in a way that I'm not really sure what to think about. Could this still be Bolivia? I mean, Poles could still be Bolivian. Okay. Okay, but why are these Mexican bollards? These are surely Mexican, not Bolivian. So now I'm actually kind of unsure. Um, but yeah, okay, it should just be Mexico. Should be. Uh, I am a little bit worried though. Look at this. It almost feels like it has a bit of blue to the plate. Um, and Poles are very ambiguous, so... I still want to like consider this further so yeah i mean without compass and with compass i would line this up because i would say this is like somewhere like over like south of uru here do we have mountain ridges like that kind of oh my gosh what do i go here i don't think i trust the bollards man i think this honestly looks more like bolivia i'm gonna i i this might be insane this might be insane i don't know this map is hard so i can i can say that at least and it was down there my goodness i'm so glad i actually made the right call there just near oru that makes sense with the mountains actually should a bit closer to the city but wow uh that was quite around i have to send an emoji after that what what, what emotes do we have here like that one i'll send that <laughs> that was an interesting one i almost absolutely sold it but okay that's okay next one here these ballads are weird like maybe caucasus russia i think but a short number plate though so what would that mean oh well it's not it's oh can it be actually switzerland we have a bit of blur there i think it's actually switzerland right but it didn't okay it is actually switzerland i think that's the only thing that makes sense with a short plate like that yeah so i have to go for it uh i will kind of click in the south where it's like even more mountainous i really thought at first that this was caucasus but yeah we actually both get it with a nice hedge there so that's pretty good that is pretty good indeed. Um, definitely happy with that result. Definitely happy I didn't go Russia. But yeah, as you can see, this map is starting to throw up some more difficult rounds in a way that, that that's making this duel a bit more interesting than normal. Uh, this one is Brazil. We have like a very red road. This kind of pavement, I would associate more with the south. Well, we got Piranha Pines as well. I want to go quickly here. I want to go in the state of Piranha itself. I can't even see Rio Grande do Sul. Uh, but something makes me want to go a bit further north. Like, we don't see... I don't know, this, like, deep, deep red, I feel like is less common in the most southern state, but, yeah, we'll see. I mean, it can be anywhere in that southern part. What we hope here, and yeah, it was just piranha, we had to hope that he wouldn't see the piranha pines, but he did see them, so, yeah, not too bad. And so we actually have a significant lead here. We've make it, been making the right calls, but uh, one big blunder, and it can literally be almost all over for us. Okay, so here we have a guardrail and a, a snow pole of some kind. No, don't think I really recognize it. Poles, yeah, almost feel like French or maybe Italian or something like that here. Uh, it's kind of winterish, which is interesting. Black soil? I just don't know what to make of that, man. Some birch trees as well. This is all kinds of strange, I must say. Um, hmm. Oh, we have a car over there. It feels like it might be an Italian car, but I can't say for certain. I mean, black soil, could we be like near Vesuvius or something like that? Is that a silly thought? I'm not so sure. Um, yeah, it is very black soil. Like this is a unique round for sure. To say the, to say the least, this is a unique round. Um, I want to say, I actually kind of, where is Vesuvius actually? Uh, uh, somewhere down this direction, I thought, but I could be wrong. What What's Naples near? Is that near Vesuvius? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Maybe there, but that like, you don't see like birch trees like this that far south very often. So I think I might just hedge it like in France, but France normally wouldn't use a single white line like that. So this is surely Europe, but I don't know where. I think I'll hedge it in France. I hope it's not exactly where I said, but I'm gonna go there. And it was, okay, in Southern Italy, that makes sense. Uh, he actually gets Italy. I mean, I don't think with a single white line, it's really gonna be France. That was more of a hedge for me, but we both go to the same kind of area. That is really surprising to see on Sicily, so many birch trees. That is uh, actually kind of uh, highly surprising, I would say. Anyway, next one, we have very red soil. We are driving, appear, appearing to drive, drive left here. Uh, it feels like maybe Indonesia, but it is certainly strange. Uh, it's quite flat as well. Maybe Thailand is also possible here. Could it be ever Sri Lanka? It uh, doesn't, hmm, is the camera low? I don't think the camera's particularly low, but I guess it could be. Um, a lot of palms in a way that could be Sri Lankan. I don't, I don't hate it still, uh, but I wanna see, I wanna see like a proper uh, pole, a concrete pole or something like that through the trees or something like that. Cause that would definitely give us the country, I think if we can find one. But this seems to be cheekily chosen for no poles. So maybe Thailand is safe here? Kind of have like a rocky mountain here. That feels quite Thai. 
<laughs> I don't really know here, like, because I feel like South Thailand could be a good hedge, but you don't really get that red soil so often there. I feel like the, the deep red, maybe just like a middle Thailand is still the best option. But, hmm. Okay, I feel like I go like kind of here. Right, now, let me just make sure this isn't low can. Like, that weed feels kind of close to us, doesn't it? In a way that almost feels a bit low can. But if I'm being objective, I don't really think it is. Okay, I go there. I go there. Left hand drive, generation four. I go there. Can be like just Java. Oh, it was Sri Lanka. Wow. And he goes Nigeria. Whoa. So that was pretty big damage. 91,000. But man, it could have been much, much more there. Ooh. Okay. Mate, it was low cam. It was low camera, but I just couldn't tell because of the no car script. So that means the script is doing its, its job. That's good. Uh, this is again difficult. I think maybe Argentina. North Argentina makes sense here just because of the kind of fences like this with the wire things on top. Maybe even Brazil. Or maybe even Bolivia. Ooh, all three are possible, I think. Uh, and I don't see anything that like, kind of gives away the country here. Maybe we hedge at Bolivia here, man. Hmm. The white topped fences. You see that a lot in Brazil. You see that a lot in the US. Uh, I don't think it's either country here, though. Like, it doesn't feel quite right for Brazil. So maybe I do kind of just take it Santa Cruz area here as a hedge. I think I'd say take a Santa Cruz here. Let's see if that's correct. It was Santa Cruz. Wow. And we both get it. Like, Eamon definitely showing a strong performance here. There's no doubt about that. Uh, no doubt about that. So 6.3k there. And uh, we are heavily in the lead here. But 81 times damage, anything can really happen here. It's round 21. And the health is still quite high. This is northern um, Serbia, presumably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With these cornfields. And those hills there mean we should be closer to Belgrade, though, I think. Um, because in the north of the country, it's just dead flat. It's really this kind of plateau in southern Hungary and far eastern Croatia that's, that kind of runs up all the way into Slovakia. Um, and we don't really, yeah, we don't really see anything um, that should be to our south there. Okay, Novi Sad actually has such big mountain ranges. Yeah, he goes to Romania, which is definitely reasonable, but uh, again, good damage for us there. So definitely have to be happy with how we're playing here today. Uh, and this next one feels rather what? Um, we have like, kind, of, kind of like cigarette ads here and this kind of tiled roof. So I'm thinking Java somewhere. Uneven pole, so maybe East Java. East Java definitely makes sense. Do we have any like Balinesian roofs where they have like a little shrine on the top? I don't think we have any Balinesian roofs, no. Uh, so the two options here are a little bit concerning. It can really either be like Deep South Sumatra, Lampung, or East Java. And I think East Java is the most likely of the uh, possibilities here. So I think I go there. Uh, but yeah, this round is legitimately a bit scary because the roofs, well, they do feel more Java to me. I think they feel more Java. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, these uneven poles, they can be found in different areas. Very common in East Java, South Sumatra, all over, uh, all over the eastern half of Kalimantan. Yeah. And uh, we will be correct there. Very nice. He goes in bundle. Um, and uh, we're going to pick up, yeah, 50,000 points there. So it's definitely not too bad at all so far. And uh, we're on 91 times damage here. What is this going to be? It's like an interesting palm here. I think this should be somewhere in... Oh yeah, it's a round pole rather than a square one. So it should be somewhere in Cambodia rather than Thailand. Um, kind of this flat land reminds me of the Phnom Penh area. So I'll just go a bit east of Phnom Penh here. And you get these palms a lot in that area as well. I think this round is quite straightforward, but it could be possible he gets thrown off by something here. Uh, yellow center lines is also definitely Cambodia, and uh, yeah, it's going to be south of Phnom Penh there instead, and so we do a good bit of damage there, just 10k, actually, not too much. So yeah, I mean, all things considered, even though we're at 100 times damage almost, uh, Cambodia is small enough that the damage doesn't go too crazy. This is going to be somewhere in Netherlands, Diekweg, very nice, um, and uh, I would say we're going to be somewhere kind of like, hmm. I mean, it feels like it's near the embankments or something like that, right? So I think I'll go more in like that kind of area of the country. Could even be like up here. I might hedge it in the ocean. I'm gonna go on the bridge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna that's, a, that's a Chad move, bro. It could also be down this area here, maybe. I don't know. It's gonna be somewhere on the coast, I think, with this kind of embankment kind of thing. Uh, the man-made, whatever they're called. Um, yeah, but that should be uh, fine here. We'll see, we'll see. I'm actually interested. Okay, we both go the same area there, and it is just on the coast, indeed. And so we're gonna pick up a bit more points there, just 5,000, again, good guesses from Eamon here. I've, uh, ever since the start of the duel, when I failed the Australia, everything else has been pretty, you know, reasonable. I, I'm happy with that. Okay, this one looks like it's gonna be somewhere in Russia or Ukraine or something like that, square concrete pole here. Um, ooh, do we have any flag or anything? Doesn't seem like we do. I do kind of like, 
Okay, that's an interesting house number. I do kind of like, well, maybe even Lithuania as possible. I don't know. Like fruit trees. Yeah, it's interesting. Maybe, yeah, maybe it, it kind of feels like Poland. So I kind of want to go like West Ukraine or Lithuania here. Something about the houses don't feel particularly Russian to me. This square house here feels like a Polish house a bit. Uh, and this tree, which I saw here, feels kind of Polish as well. Green bin there? I don't really know what the meaning of that is. Short plate? That's interesting. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know actually what's the better shout here. I think maybe southern Lithuania here. Just all the way south in case. I think that fits best. You can tell by the time that Eamon also took his time. This is a difficult round. It certainly is. Four... Okay, ooh, it's Estonia, wow. It felt so warm to me because we had some fruit trees and everything. And we make the same decision to go with you any of that. At least I didn't go uh, Ukraine. That could have been pretty bad for damage. So definitely chilling. And here we have a US. We haven't had much US yet. So this is a big opportunity for damage. No front plate on the car. So feeling more Southern states here some, somewhere. Um, I can see like Arkansas here. Te te Texas pavement a little bit with the kind of lighter road. Uh, but we don't have a front plate. So... Yeah, I think I would go Arkansas here, honestly. I could see this being quite bad, because um, Arkansas is quite far away from like North Carolina, where this could be. Uh, I don't think the game can end here, but yeah, let's find out, shall we? Oh, it was Georgia, yeah. I mean, like I could have easily seen it being over there, but I just, uh, I just leaned more the other way, and that damage brings us only narrowly into the lead. That's a huge round for Raymond. And uh, I don't know why I thought Arkansas it kind of looked more like a Texas road, so that was kind of my logic there. But now we're in Russia. Ooh, the game can... Now the game can end. The game can end with a perfect score from us, yet, yeah. uh, Or from him. Uh, trees kind of feel maybe Moscow area. North of Moscow to me. White flowers everywhere. Mm. Yeah, but this can be anywhere. All the way out to, like, Krasnoyarsk, I think. It can be, yeah, all the way from, like, Peskov all the way out, out to here, so... I don't know, it's not that flat, it doesn't really feel like Omsk to me, although Omsk is possible. Um, it's quite flat, it is quite flat, we have a green roof as well, so maybe further east for that reason. Mm. Maybe I go, maybe I hedge Kirov here, but I don't think Kirov has that much Gen 4. Maybe I hedge further, hmm, maybe I go Ufa hedge. I think I might just hedge Ufa here. Ooh, but the more I look at it, the more I'm thinking this could actually just be Param. Uh, um, or Omsk, I mean Omsk, uh, Oblast here, so, am I hedge it here? Oh, this is scary, bro, he's gone for the gas? Green roof has really swayed me to go on the other side here. But no, I think I hedge it back in Ufa here, let's find out where it actually is. And it was all the way out there, Tomsk, wow, what a round. He goes all the way over here, probably because of the white flowers, I think. And it ends up being decent damage for us, but definitely the type of round where he could have been absolutely wrecking us as well. So, we have to be happy about that result, I think. Next one here is, oh my goodness, quite difficult. Um, red soil, trees are quite ambiguous. Okay, possibilities. I don't think it's Hawaii, but it's possible. I think it could be, I think it could be Kenya somewhere. Kenya seems like a decent option here. Um, ooh, like a eucalyptus, kind of, not really eucalyptus, but like a similar looking trunk tree here. Ooh, like Kruger National Park in South Africa could be possible. Uh, Sri Lanka is possible here. I actually don't mind Sri Lanka. Ooh. Uh, Cambodia is possible. Maybe, you know, Sri Lanka is kind of halfway between Kenya and Cambodia, which are my bigger thoughts. Ooh, he goes for the guess. We could ocean hedge it to stay in the game. These hills, though, don't really make sense. I think I actually go Kenya here. I don't think the hills make a lot of sense for Sri Lanka, but we'll see where this actually is. And, oh my gosh, oh, it's Kenya. How did we both get that, bro? That's crazy. <laughs> Ends up being all the way southwest there. If I uh, if I was more confident in my guess, I would have actually gone where I thought it was, maybe further south there. But hey, the fact that we both got that is kind of crazy. Okay, next one here. I was bogged this. Uh, this feels, ooh, look at these green hills, rolling hills. That's strange, because I think this is North America. Yeah, North American uh, sign there, yellow fire hydrant. Not so familiar with it. Ooh, what plates do we have? Uh, can't see if there's front plates or not here. Okay, we do have front plates. We have palms as well in this green rolling landscape. That makes little sense to me. So I think North California. If we have palms, that makes the most sense. Yeah, this is North California, I think. Um, checking for anything else. Persimmon. Yeah, persimmon. Trees, is that is that referring to the fruit? That could work. We have like a Mexican electricity counter, but this is not Mexico. I mean, yeah, that's impossible. Um, and so I would go like Bay Area here, I think. 
This could be a knockout blow. I I'm pretty certain that it is kind of Bay Area or further north, maybe. It kind of looks like South Australia, these hills. Um, they kind of look like where I come from, or maybe even like Britain or something. But yeah, yeah, we both get it. Nice. Nice and well played to aim in there. Both getting what is a pretty difficult round there. So uh, 30,000 13, points. We're still maintaining a good lead here, but yeah, 126 times damage, anything can happen, right? Okay, this one looks like what? It looks like maybe Kyrgyzstan? I'm actually not so sure about that. Pole is kind of ambiguous here. Um, it's rainy coverage. What do we have there? Uh, Arto Chencha. Yeah, this is probably actually then somewhere in Argentina. What does the RFSC stand for? Okay, houses wise, feels probably more Argentinian or Chilean than American, I would say. Can't really think of where in America this could be, especially with like kind of the poor quality road. Although it still could be. Without the compass, it's really hard to say. Um, and then as for, yeah, cars and like, that's like an American pickup truck, right? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, but I, obviously it's not Sierra Lake, so we can't be in Kyrgyzstan. We can at least be happy about that. Okay, this is an Argentinian pole. Good. I don't know how, how it took me so long to realize that but we can definitely start thinking about where in Argentina we want now. Now this could be the safe hedge. I do think it could be all the way down Tierra del Fuego kind of area, um, but it could be also quite a bit further north here. So I think I hedge it. I think I hedge it kind of this region here. How far north could this be realistically? We do have quite a few trees. Mm, starting to consider that a, a bit further of a north click here could actually be in order. Although I'm not really sure what's covered around there. Um, no, I, think I, I think I do go here. I think I do go here. Um, although I think it could be anywhere all the way up to San Carlos, to be honest. This is too risky. It's quite thick trees. Now I'm going to click, I'm going to click halfway between. I'm going to click like there. This is, this is just a hedge. We'll see where it ends up being. And it was just all the way up there. Yeah, so not quite up to San Carlos, but good damage from Aim for Aim in there, 60k. Um, I'm glad that he gave me the time to figure that out because really I was all over the shop before I saw the pole properly. But okay, North America and South America have been our downfall so far. Uh, so we want to play well here. This is a speed limit sign, so it should be somewhere in the US. Um, feels very flat. It feels quite northern as well with these kind of, uh, this, this kind of trees, I would say. Um, yeah, apart from that, this is hard. This is definitely hard. Uh, it's a very, like, pale road as well. I thought of, like, Pennsylvania, but Pennsylvania is surely too hilly for this. So if it's not Pennsylvania then maybe like Michigan? Michigan could make sense here. Michigan is not bad as a hedge, I feel. Um, we also have like, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Maine is also possible, but again, I might expect some more like tree, I mean, some more like, uh, like elevation there, but maybe Vermont hedge instead here, guys. Ooh, ooh. North New York hedge? I feel like that's okay. I feel like that's okay. I can I can live with that. It could be all the way out Wisconsin, Minnesota easily, but I don't see enough architecture to really like say what I'm confident in here. I just go at New York State. And it was actually all the way up in Vermont, true, but we got the state uh we got the area correct and we do massive damage there. That's great. Yeah, he go he goes where I my, my initial thought was, but eventually I, I came to the right decision, thankfully. Okay, next one here. We've got Lithuanian bollards. Again, it's super flat. So I'm going to click in the same area that I did last time, maybe a bit further west this time. I don't know, it's just Lithuania, so we don't really have to worry about too much about this round. We both survive uh, pretty safely. Um, and uh, yeah, the bollards in Lithuania kind of have like this kind of like, uh, they kind of like got that angle at the top and they are not um, round and they, but they're rounded, but they're not round and they're not flat like Lithu La Latvian ones, which are completely flat. And look at his health here, 33332, three, 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 which is uh, kind of uh, lucky or something. On round 33, that's crazy. Round 33, 33333 three, 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 three health. Wow. Um, and the next one is where? Uh, okay, this is actually difficult. This is actually difficult. Let's think here. Wooden poles, right? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, could this be like Mexico? Yeah, it could be Mexico. Could be Colombia. Could be Guatemala. All three countries possible. Lots of palms, okay. Um motorbikes appear not to have any front plates so yeah uh, and that is indeed spanish so yeah should be somewhere in the countries i mentioned um which country do i prefer maybe with the round poles colombia is most likely and these are not painted at the bottom like you'd often see in guatemala so yeah i think colombia is most likely but it's so flat that it does kind of 
beg the question of where exactly in Colombia this makes sense to be. I think I kind of go like this kind of area here, right? But often that kind of area is a bit more dry than this. I don't know. I feel like this is probably the best bet. So I'm going to go for the guess here. I'll see what he's thinking about this. The game could end here, especially if I get it right and he gets it wrong. But if he gets it right and I get it completely wrong, then it could also end. Uh, is Ecuador also possible? Yeah, maybe. I think Colombia more likely, but we didn't see the plate color here. Yeah, we don't see the plate color at all. And what? He doesn't make a guess. Oh no. Whoa, we got so close anyway. That's a crazy, crazy way to end there. Um, and uh, I guess we should join VC to see what actually happened, but that was, uh, yeah, a good guess. Uh, GG's. Yo, did you just, just miss? I guess too late, yeah. I guess like with one second to left. And, and where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? <laughs> I wasn't, I was gonna go to Mexico, so I would've won. Okay, okay. Anyway, that was a very fun duel. Wish us best of luck fun, in the yeah. tournament tonight, guys. Um, thank you very much for watching all the way to the end, and thank you to Eamon for coming on, bro. That was good fun. Yeah, it was fun. Till next time, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.